Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Isaiah chapter 26 verse 9 as well as James chapter 5 verse 3. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord Jesus. Bless us as we seek to learn from you and be changed God in Jesus name. Forgive us for our sins Lord. Amen. All right, you guys, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 9. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. All right, you guys. So we know that this is Isaiah. And he's speaking about the fact that the way that the earth learns righteousness is through judgment, right? Um, it, it says, my soul yearns for you in the night. So he is in contrast to that, right? He is, he is actually seeking after God. He is one who is yearning for him. It says, my spirit within me earnestly seeks you. So he's seeking um, God in honesty in realness, right? He is going after God's heart. He's not false about it. Um, usually in the night is when things come out of us, right? Um, when we are vulnerable, when we are without barriers, without um, any kind of um, falseness, right? Everything is real in the night um, and, and bared up. And here Isaiah is saying, my soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. So um, that's something that we can think about is, do you earnestly seek after the Lord? Um, in your realest moments, are you truly yearning for him or are you only yearning for the things that you desire and and more and more and want, want, right? yearn for God and, and ask him to cause my yearning to be after you, Lord God, cause my desire to be your desire. Um, and so it says, my spirit within me earnestly seeks you for when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. So there is a righteousness to be found and it's through judgment. Amen. So we're talking not about the church. This is about the world. Um, because that's where the judgment will occur is of the world. All right. And so the second scripture is James chapter five, verse three, your gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. So this is what the world is doing, right? This is what the um, the people are are focusing on this is what the unwise bride is focusing on um it's things money the world um getting more stuff right it says gold and silver have corroded and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat up your flesh like fire so just like we've talked about before that's that's the the mark right is is that um you, that you've been wearing cheap jewelry, you'll have some sort of evidence on you, right? Um, it's going to leave some sort of markings. And so in the same way, during this time, the last days, one of the markings will be money. It will be corrosion due to, and in our character due to um, riches. Remember the love of money is the root of many types of evil kinds of evil and so um we need to always be cautious of where we put our money and also um whether we put our trust in our money it says it will be evidence against you and it will eat your flesh like fire you have laid up treasure in the last day and not so treasure is not just representing money so treasure is you have laid up stuff right stuff when you have a treasure when you open up a treasure box there's usually not one type of money in there a treasure box tends to um 
have have lots of of different items inside of it so when we think of treasure we have laid up treasure in the last day um it's all forms of of things that are not of value in the kingdom that are not of value to god and so that is the contrast um the this treasure mentality this this heaping up of things this becoming more and more like the world um the collection of money all of that will fall under judgment right and in the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness through that judgment and 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 then that one slight remnant is is that those who are seeking after god those who earnestly yearn after god they will be the ones that are not under that judgment. Amen. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for sparing us. Thank you for forgiving us. God, help us to stand even in these last days and stand for truth for you, God. Forgive us for our sins. Let us not be corroded. Let our our hearts not be corroded. Let us not collect goods that will burn up, God, things that will melt. God, help the things that we are standing for and, and believing for be things that will stand at the Bema Sea judgment, Lord God. And let us not have to learn any type of judgment in the with the world, Lord God. Let us let us be free of that. In Jesus' name we pray. We trust you for cleansing, Lord. We trust you for righteousness. We trust you that you're going to present us faultless on that great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. If there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, Go ahead and pray this prayer with me, but more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. Forgive me of all of my sins. In your precious name, I pray. Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, if they, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth, meaning he is going to show you the way and he's going to bless your path and make it straight. Amen. Um, and the Holy Spirit is going to lead you to a church home um, if you have time for that, because these are the last days. Um, he's going to show you where to go and be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, he's going to show you other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in the word of God. Um, yeah, and he's just going to bless your path. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.